right, so we're checking out the only game we're creating life results in torturous death. It's The Sims 4. The man family is back and has two temporary additions. If you haven't seen it already, this furry, tiny-headed slug is named Blue Cheese. This grotesque being that looked like it forgot how to grow a face is the offspring of the very handsome Spleens. I know Spleens is a girl, but... She has a stronger brow line than I do. Also, the survivor of the last house, Gordon Ramsay, is here. That was the winner for the name, and I'm sure he'll be very happy that you all decided to bring him back just so that he could die screaming. So a lot of people have done like the 100 baby challenge, but this is a channel about extremes and death. So we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna add a baby every hour until the game eventually stops working. Now, if I have any idea, how this game reacts to having a stupid amount of creatures on the screen. More than likely, everyone will spontaneously die far before we get past like, oh, I don't know, say 200 or so. We have this gorgeous house filled with all manners of things to teach children how to grow up into strong, reliant human beings. But it's The Sims 4, so more than likely, all of them will just spray their poop on the floor and end up dying of starvation, or they'll set the house on fire. Oh Christ, there's actually two stoves. They're gonna set the house on fire. I like that every toy I have for the children has sharp edges. I can only imagine one of my children in these episodes going to school for the first time. All their friends are like, what did you get for your birthday? And my kids are like razor blades. You can tell this house was made specifically for safety because there's a pool with absolutely no railing. Oh, I'm sorry, one pool wouldn't be enough. There's two pools. Because my Sims are terrible parents, they're probably gonna forget to feed the children. So I have this slice of pizza flotation device over here inside the pool. It's like flames for moths, only this is the flame for the children. Like the Pied Piper, I'm going to lead them into the waters of hell, which of course is the bane of every Sim ever made. Okay, so it's 8.05 a.m. on a Sunday. This house has everything that the Sims need to survive. There's multiple levels of fun and adventure. Look at this, we got everything in here. Here's a judgmental asshole llama. I think maybe this is supposed to be like a pet water dish. It could also just be a small pool for the little Sims to die in. Congratulations, LSD. You're going to be getting pregnant a lot in this episode. I like how it says that she's anticipating a bundle of joy. This is not a joyous occasion for her. This would be begging the question, how many children am I going to have? And the answer, LSD, is as many as it takes to crash the game. LSD is having a baby. I just realized I never saw that it says it's go time when you're having a baby. You better get back here quick because you're going to have another child in like a one second. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Bab Ross just got the homewrecker status. Bob Ross would never endorse this, you violent hoe. Where the hell are you going, Gordon Ramsay? You got father duties to take care of. Gordon's over here. He's like, I'm taking care of my child right now. My child's name is gin and tonic. Great, there's only three potential father candidates here and one of them's already an alcoholic. Ellis is back, she brought her child with her. These children come in toddler form only because that's the most torturous phase that a child can exist in. There it is. Wow, Ellis. She, she looks just like you. She has your heartbeat. Hello, Trisha, you're the first child on the lot. How do you feel? She's probably like, oh, fuck. As usual, part of me wonders how many of these children will live to their adulthood. Actually, part of me wonders if any of the children will live to their adulthood. Oh, Ellis, what do you know? It's already time to have another child. I love the face that she gave me the second she got pregnant. She's like, you son of a bitch. Gordon Ramsay is the very first person this child gets to meet. He's like the drunken uncle. This kid's first word is gonna be alcoholism. All right, Ellis, well done. I just wanted to let you know, Ellis, I decided to get you a crib so that you don't have to waste time walking all the way to the hospital alone. Aren't I a decent fellow? <laughs> I feel like anytime you hear someone re, this is the face they're making. This new kid is wearing camo pants. I like him already. I like how everyone is completely neglecting the children. Like no one's helping them up the stairs or anything. Luckily, Dwayne just acquired movement. Little juvenile's name is Dwayne. He's like a little rock. 
He acquired the communication skill. How come Dwayne is so skilled? What happened to Trisha? She isn't learning anything. Man, having a baby every hour is actually pretty tiring. Ellis is over here. She's like, oh, it's tiring, is it? Is it tiring? Do you think it's tiring? Listen, Ellis, it's a lot of typing for me, okay? I see you're watching the news, Ellis. You know what the news is? You're pregnant. Go handle that. Very good. Oh, this is great. Bab Ross has taken up the educational role. She's over here. She's like, now, little Dwayne, do you know what this is? And he's like, a way to die. She's like, that's right. That's what it's like to be a sim. Now, do you know what this is? Dwayne's like, the nutrition that I'll never get? Ha ha ha, you're so smart. The father of the year award goes to Florida man. Instead of taking care of the growing children problem, he is playing video games. How you doing there, blue cheese? <laughs> Still ugly, I see. <laughs> Blue cheese is like, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I just haven't found someone to behold me yet. <laughs> Have you ever stared into the darkness? And the darkness stares back at you. <laughs> I just realized what Blue cheese reminds me of. It's like a feline Steve Buscemi. Tell me it's not. Go ahead. Okay, let me bring you up to speed real quick. It's 5 p.m. So, you know, Ellis has gone into labor. I don't know how many times anymore. Somehow though, she's found time to take up cooking. I don't really think that she's taken up cooking on purpose. I think that she's trying to find a way to kill herself without anyone knowing. Everywhere you go, there's little children. Most of them are just playing out in traffic. I tried to spawn another cat, but this juvenile is a savage and ended up beheading them and turning their head into a hat. You can see this look on her face. She's waiting to garrot this boy. This looks like Australian man's son, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Gordon. I see you're learning that parenthood is learning how to use the bathroom with no privacy for the rest of your life. Hello there, little Marcus. I see you're playing with a doll. He's like, I'm not playing with this doll, I'm learning voodoo. Ellis has been setting new records in labor. She's like level 20 at it by now. There are 12 children so far. Ellis is over here. She's like, you know what I haven't done in a while? Slap. I love how crazy this child looks. She's like, don't worry, Ellis. Sleep is for the weak. That's right. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if she's dreaming, wishing that she were dead or wishing that I were dead. Thoughts like that, Ellis will get you pregnant. On the plus side, the bed is right next to the crib, so she doesn't actually have to go very far in between sleeping and having children. It is now midnight on the first night. I think there's 15 children at this point. Ellis is, actually everyone's still alive. Florida man is trying to watch TV, but he can't because he's hounded everywhere he goes. At this point, the only thing that anyone has time to make for food is popcorn. How do your polygons taste, Ellis? She's like depressing. Oh, uh, what's going on, spleens? What are you so depressed for, buddy? She's like, I'm not the cutest one in the house anymore, and I don't have the energy to kill all these children. Come on, everyone, there's a lot of diapers to take care of. You also need to feed the children. Everyone is super hungry. That's right, cook. Cook, damn it. Okay, it's 6 a.m. All hell is breaking loose. There is children everywhere. Sippy cups. People are falling asleep in the middle of the frickin' floor. I'm pretty sure Bab Ross was cooking something. I don't know if she got done or everyone just ate it immediately. Ellis, what is this? Are you getting some sleep inside of the hot tub? Hoping that you'll drown, eh? Well, guess what? 7 a.m., time for more children. Lucky for you, Ellis, I've heard that giving birth in water is actually quite relaxing. She's like, you know what sucks about this? the long walk back to the cradle. Hey, Ellis, when you're done giving birth, can you go make some food, please? All right, congratulations. You're not pregnant anymore. Get in there. The children are starving, for God's sakes. The only thing that they've been eating is salt shakers. Congratulations, children. Bud Light battered burgers are ready. Okay, we have uh, 27 babies so far. Oh, this is actually a fantastic tactic. By putting chocolate syrup on the floor, any of the hungry children can just lick stuff off of the tile. And stop breaking the damn dollhouse. So many statuses. Okay, I think we're up to 31 children now. Hey, Ellis, how you doing? She's like, make it stop. You know, the game is starting to get really screwed up when it's nine o'clock and it was like still daytime outside. Due to neglect, Marcus is being whisked away. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Notification wall full, I'll bet. Ellis, hurry up and fix that dollhouse. You gotta go into labor again in just a second. Okay, we're at 47 children so far, although some of them have been taken away by child services and the game is already really 
really pissed off. There is some food for the children, but most of it is just rotten. Everyone's learning so much somehow. I'm not really sure who's teaching these children anything. The house looks like hammered shit. There's like 20 kids that haven't even come into the house. They're just, they're just drinking their sippy drinks out here in the middle of the road. Kids are getting teleported away instantaneously at this point. I don't think that my Sims are going to be able to survive much longer. 100 babies is one thing, but 100 toddlers is completely different. <laughs> Ellis, I know you're starving to death, but keep going. Without you, we can't have more children. I need to get Ellis on a treadmill, not because of any sort of health concerns, but this way she's faster at getting to the crib. No, 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 don't fall asleep. You have to go into labor. Oh God, she's gonna starve to death in 12 hours. You know what to do, Ellis. Do it. Do it. There's so many Sims right now that are spawned that she's having trouble giving birth. She's like, this is terrible, I forgot how. Okay, Ellis, listen, you're probably going to end up starving to death. She's like, yes, but we have to get you to have at least over 100 children. So I'm gonna have to have you start having twins. She's like, no. Oh, oh my God. What the hell is this? I think I'm at 78 children so far, but some of them are like starting to age up over time because I have the aging like so fast. What is this? It's like the Slender Man. Well, everyone, if you ever wanted a nice cursed Sims image, here you go. Look at it move. Uh, it's gyrating. <laughs> What is this being? It's so good. What are you? What is your name, young child? Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes bulging out of his head. I'm so glad I did this challenge. I never thought I would see things like this in my life. Why are their children levitating? Okay, one way or another, we have to get over a hundred children now. I have decided this. We're already making history because most of our children are possessed. Oh God, this thing teleported upstairs. There are times in this game where I live in fear of where I have paused. This is one of those times. I have to get away from this, but I just want to say it's amazing that this person can effectively like steal a soda out of a convenience store while scratching their ass at the same time. Hey. No vomiting on the furniture. So I wanted to see something real quick. If you remember, Trisha is one of our original girls. Do you know what sort of qualities she has managed to forge during these days? It's nothing. Bad manners, no responsibility. She has a conflict resolution, but it doesn't say how the conflicts are getting resolved. She's probably stabbing people. Oh, hey there, blue cheese. How you doing? Oh God. BC, listen, man, your right eye is about ready to pop out of your skull. He's like, don't judge me while I eat this hamburger. There's something I realized and I feel kind of bad about it. I'm feeding the pets more than the children are getting fed. <laughs> Hello, random child. Good to see you finally decided to come home. What the hell is going on here? Well, hello there, Ace Ventura. What are you, right out of the 90s? This kid's like, don't judge my Macklemore edition jacket. <laughs> Australian man, what the hell happened to your hair? He's like, it's stress. You know how most people go bald on top? I went bald on the sides. I appreciate that at this point, LSD has given birth to so many children that they're being born with psychic powers. Not only that, I don't know if these beastly feet are shoes or if they're this actual kid's feet. So, um, I thought things were bad before in the game. Like they were, they were glitching out before. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and pause this real quick. You know how there's a little girl sitting here? Looks normal, right? Little girl looks sad. Pretty much par for the course in this house. Nothing unusual, right? Oh, there's something unusual. There is a freaking plate with food on it levitating in the air sideways. Why is this happening? I, it's not, it's not standing on anything. It's not sitting on anything. And it's not straight up. And it is, it is, it's floating there. It is straight floating there. The game is running and it is not moving. Sometimes I like to think that EA is watching me play this game and they're like, fuck. I see you looking at that crib. No eating the newborns, blue cheese. Ellis, for God's sakes, watch out, it's coming for you. Ellis has had over 104 children now. They don't even really load their portraits, don't even load. She aged up and now she's T-posed in the bathroom. <laughs> she's not moving anymore. The game is moving, but she's frozen to time. This is what happens when you get over 100 children. Oh God. But do you know who is moving? It's this thing. <laughs> The game just ended randomly. No one even died. <laughs>
great. I shouldn't say no one died. It's just no one died on screen. They all just evaporated and the game is over. Got 104 children. Apparently it takes 104 children to cause the apocalypse. Well, I think we learned some very important things here today. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.